guys, David Ronson here. Uh, what I want to talk about for this blog is uh, what uh, building Navis models out of DWGs versus building them out of NWCs. So uh, there's a couple um, big ticket reasons um, for this. Um, and obviously one of them is um, your refresh time. So what I've got set up here is um, on the right side, I've got a project and it's built off of the drawing files. On the left side, I have the exact same project, okay? Um, built out of the uh, Navis cache files, NWC. So I'm gonna hit refresh on the drawing files first. And I'm gonna compare this time that it takes to the time that it takes to uh, refresh the uh, Navis cache files. All right, so here we go. Sure that took long enough I um, hope you're bored uh, I'm going to come over here to the uh, project built off the NWC's and I'm gonna hit refresh okay so here we go well that was easy a lot less anticlimactic um, so Really, you know, uh, th there's one setting here that, that's driving most of this. Um, and 
uh, I've heard a lot of people say, well, you can't build models off of NWCs because uh, they're locked. And when someone else tries to generate an NWC, it can't uh, save to it because someone else has it open. So all your users um, need to come in here to options, go to performance, and enable this option right here. Close NWC slash NWD files on load. So basically what this is going to do is it's going to open the NWC, uh, load the information, and close it. So a, another NWC can be written. And then when they make a change, um, you hit refresh. It loads so much faster as you just saw. Uh, one of the issues with you doing DWGs is not only does it take a long time to load, right? So you, you're not modeling for that length of time. Um, but the issue also shows up on the users, the other users in the department. Um, let's say uh, I hit uh, refresh here, okay? And I'm using DWGs. Well, um, John, right across the hall, he's trying to save the, end the DWG at the same time. Um, he'll get an error that says he cannot save uh, his, his drawing file. And the reason why he'll get that error is because I'm over here trying to refresh his drawing. Okay. And this problem is just compounded um, depending on how many users you have. All right. And it also is compounded based on how many files in the Navis model need to be updated. Um, I went ahead and made a little change to every single one of these files. So it's forced to uh, reload every file. So this might have been a little bit of an exaggeration, but the, the reality is, is that NWCs are, are giving you a far better performance. Um, and you know, with, with a little bit of planning, uh, you can you can use them and be far more efficient with your NWC with your models. Okay. Um, if there are any other settings um, that are relevant here, I will go ahead and post them in my blog as they come up, uh, so we can try to keep track of um, settings and efficiencies that are different between DWGs and NWCs. So I hope you find this helpful. Um, and uh, th I definitely implemented this when I was uh, in charge of running these things. And we, we saw a drastic increase in production and a drastic decrease in problems with Navis files. Thanks.